What up YouTube? So, you're thinking about upgrading your MacBook, but you're not really sure if you can DJ with it. Today we're going to be discussing all the things you need to make that successful transition. Here today. Roll those credits. I know this thing has been talked about to death, but for some reason, even though it is, I still get lots of people that ask me about this one little topic, and that is, I see in your videos you're using those MacBook Pro USB-Cs. How is it working out for you? Can you actually DJ with it? What do I need to be able to transition to the new MacBooks? Well, today I'm going to tell you, there's actually not a lot. To be honest with you, I know people keep saying, well, these new MacBooks, well, you know, they're not that good. They're just as good as my old 2012 MacBook Pros and my 2011, you know, quad core with the, with the CD-ROM. I just switched it out for a, a new hard drive and now I have 90 terabytes of space to store all my music that I don't actually need because I really only play about 200 megabytes of music per party. Anyway, neither here nor there. Here's the facts. The MacBooks are better. They are better now than they were before. There's faster hard drives. Those things blaze. They start up super fast. They got faster RAM. The battery life, eh, well, we won't talk about the battery life. There's a lot of good things about the MacBooks and I think people need to understand that. A lot of people are mad because they switched out all the USB-A's and they went all to USB-C's, so now they can't use their standard plugs. Yes, that is an inconvenience, but there are a lot of little cheap things that you can do that will make your computer just like it was before. One of the cool things that I actually like about the new MacBooks is that, <laughs> and it's funny because I thought I'd hate it before because when I originally when I originally moved over, one of the coolest features of the MacBooks was the MagSafe because you plug it in and if somebody walks by, kicks out that MagSafe, well, it's just taking the plug out, but the computer doesn't go with it. That's gone. Now they've replaced it with the USB-C plug, which a lot of people hate. But there's a reason that you actually want to use it. So on my MacBook here, I have the quad core, the two terabyte quad core uh, 15. It's got the four ports on them, two on one side, and two on the other. The convenient thing about them is that because it's USB-C, you can actually power your MacBook from either side, any port on this thing. Which means that if you're in a situation where you don't have space on your left side, well, you can actually just plug it in. Plug it on this side, you got power. Plug it in on this side, you got power. That's really, really convenient. And for those people that say it's not, just Sit on your couch for a minute. Sit on your couch and think about the plug being on this side of the room and now you have to run your cord and then run it underneath you, come back around into here. Now, you just take that cord, you plug it right into the side. That's super convenient, I don't care what you say. In order to actually DJ using a new MacBook USB-C, there's a couple of things that you need, like 100% need, you can't get around that, you gotta have it. So, obviously you can't take your rain mixer or your pioneer mixer and plug that usb right into there so you're going to need an adapter so does that mean you're going to need 12,000 adapters you can but there's actually a lot more there's better there's better alternatives here but i will say this the one thing that you have to buy i think everybody should own at least one of these is a usb a to usb c adapter right here this is from nanda now, Nanda makes these things, they're about $10 a piece. This little thing right here plugs right into your USB cord. Doesn't matter what USB cord, doesn't matter if it's USB 3, USB 2, USB 1, you plug it right in here and then you plug this into any one of your ports. Um, now, at a minimum, you have your mixer working. It's operational. You don't have to worry about, oh, well, I'm not sure if this is gonna be compatible. This is compatible. This works perfectly. If you buy one of the older versions of this, it was a little bit wider. Now the new version, which I have, it's somewhere, I think it's at my office in my house. The newer version is a little slimmer. That way you can actually put two of these side by side and you, you know, you're not running into that weird space where you can't get them both in. So that's really, really cool. These are about $10 on Amazon. I'll post the link below. Um, I, of course, look, this is, I don't have an affiliates link or anything like that. This is just from personal experience, things that I have bought, things that I know work. So I'm just gonna post links down there. So this is a, this is a must. Now, that's good. What would be considered better? Well, better would be if you had multiple outlets. So you have your USB mixer, you have maybe your, your iPhone or your Samsung phone. Maybe you have a light controller that requires the USB input. When that happens, 
And maybe you have like a USB stick that somebody's given you or a portable hard drive that you're running all your music off of. I don't know why people do that. It's just a recipe for disaster. But maybe you have that. When that happens, well, then you can do another option. And you can go and get this guy right here. You can go right here and get this Hutu. And this guy, well, this guy works really, really well. So this gives you your USB-C on one side, then it gives you all of your normal USB ports right here, four of them. So that should give you more than enough to do what you need to do on here. So that's better. Now, um, what is best? Well, best is relative, but what I have done, I've actually swapped out my mixer USB cords for a USB to USB-C adapter. So now I get the best of both worlds. So what I do is I run both of these. I run one of these into one port and then the other standard USB in the other port. That way, if somebody's using my mixer and I need to swap off, well, they just plug the other one in and I don't have to worry about keeping to continuing to remove this. This guy, super cheap. I bought it from Amazon. I believe it's Amazon certified. It might be one of their cords. I will post that in the link. Also, these things, even though they're skinny, I, I kid you not, I've, they've never failed me. These things are amazing. I bought one for each deck I have. I don't think about it. Now I have a completely self-contained setup. So that's, in my mind, the best option, especially if you are a mobile DJ and you're the only one that uses your equipment. Get these, get a whole bunch of these, and you're good. These also work if you're using like an Ableton Push or some sort of music controller. These work just fine. So get these, definitely get these. There's also people that do a lot of video mixing. So if you do video mixing, um, you're going to need to have an adapter here too. So I bought this Uni adapter. I believe it was about 15 or $19. I'll post it below on Amazon. It's got the USB-C on one side and then it's got the HDMI port on the other. That's all you need, you're good. Um, and then for those that are like me that don't just DJ, but maybe they shoot video. Well, because the Macs don't have SD cards, you're gonna need an adapter. So I got this one right here. It's from a company called Cable Matters and uh, they actually do a really, really good job. So this card does multiple cards. It does SD, it does micro, and um, no, it does SD and micro, but it does it in USB-C three speeds. So it's super fast, super reliable. That's definitely one to get. Um, now, of course, maybe, you realize that there's just a whole bunch of dongles that are hanging from your computer and that's kind of annoying. I agree, it is kind of annoying. So what I've done is you can consolidate all these things into typically one device. The problem is a lot of the devices are a little bit sketchy, but I think I found one and this is made by a company called Alondo. So this one plugs into two USB-C ports and then it gives you um, one pass through. That's for the, this is one pass through for the power two USB threes. It gives you an actual Thunderbolt USB-C and then your SD card and then your mini SD card. So this gives you everything you need, but wait, there's more. Then if you turn it, hey, look at that. You get a HDMI port right on the back. So you get everything you need in one cord. This one is a little bit expensive. This is about $60, I believe. You can also get the one without the HDMI for $49. I'll, again, I'm posting all this stuff below so you'll see it. But this one is great because it's super, super small. But the cool thing about it is, you plug it in like so, and now it's connected. One caveat to having these things is, well, you, um, they come, they bleed a little bit over the, device. It's not actually bleeding over, it's actually flush. So it's completely flush with the device, but if you have a case on it, well then the case gets in the way. So there's a couple of options. I actually did this. I actually went in and on the bottom piece, I actually cut away that little area right here. So then it would fit in. But then I just said, you know, screw it. I don't need it. The top is really all that matters anyway, so people can see who I am when I'm DJing. Um, so that is perfect now, perfectly snug. It's really in there doesn't come out up until I pull hard enough, but um, you can hear a, a, a actual audible click. See, so that sound means that it is secure and it's not coming out. So, um, so you have a different couple, couple of options. Um, as I said before, you can go with the all-in-one device or you can actually go with one of these and then maybe one of these for your HDMI 
and obviously you're gonna need a card reader too. So you can have these two and that, um, or you can go with one of these. This is what I do. At a minimum, I have this guy plugged into my mixer and the mixer out to my computer. I plug this into a dedicated port. I'm not a big fan of running Serato through a bridge of any kind because other things get in the way and you get conflicts. That's when you start to get buffering issues and slowness and I don't wanna deal with that. So this always goes into a dedicated port. It doesn't matter if you're using you know, one of these guys or one of these, it should go into a dedicated port. Don't run it into a hub. Run everything else into a hub. Run your lights, your iPhone, run it all into there. But besides that, run your computer into a dedicated port. No matter what you do, you make sure you buy at least one of these that, and you throw it in your bag because even if you have the adapter that goes right into your computer, uh, what's gonna ultimately happen is at some point, somebody's gonna walk up to you and say, hey, I have a song I need you to play and it's on a USB thumb drive. Now you screw it. So this right here is a, is a little bit of a lifesaver. Also, sometimes, you know, your hub's thrown in your bag and it's really low and these guys are usually in the front pockets and you can just pop this thing out and pop it in really, really quick. I use these more when I'm concerned with length of time. So basically meaning, let's say I'm, I put a USB drive in and I need to transfer over like, you know, 20 gigs and it's gonna take 30 minutes or so. Well, I use these because I know that these are dedicated to just that one source. So I'm not gonna get any connection errors um, with these. Every so often, I will get a connection error, connection error, <laughs> connection error with uh, with this guy. And I just think that it's because it's got so many things happening that every so often the bridge just kind of screws up and then, and then you lose it. Uh, it doesn't happen too many times, but it did happen. It did happen to my SD card when my SD card was sitting in there. I wasn't using it. And then I guess it went to sleep and it disconnected the bridge. So then when I popped it up, it said it had been, it was ejected incorrectly. I have not had that happen to this guy or this guy, which is a dedicated SD card reader. But this one, it did happen to. I haven't had any issues with HDMI. It, the HDMI has been solid on this. I use it all day at my office and, um, and the USB has been good. Not great, good. But this is a good like office type device right here. So guys, that is it for today. That is just my opinion on the things that you need for your computers. If you have any questions, please go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Um, also, let me know what you're using. Are you using one of the new Macs? Are you still using the old Macs, the old tried and true Macs that never break down, but they do, but you know, drop those in the comments also. Guys, thanks for showing up on my videos one more time. I know you have many choices out there and you choose mine and I appreciate it. If you liked what you saw here, give me a thumbs up. If you really liked it, go ahead and give me a subscribe, but make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified of all the times I post. I try to post once or twice a week, hopefully trying to push it up to two to three times. It just depends on everything else that I'm doing in my life, but uh, we're gonna start with one and maybe two. There will be two this week. So once again, guys, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you today, we'll talk later. Peace.